sitting here with DJ Mitchell with the Long Island Ducks. DJ, you started uh, your collegiate career in Clemson University. Really had a great career over there. How did your experience at Clemson University help you get prepared for pro ball and made you to the player you are today? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, um, you know, you know, playing in the ACC, you know, week in, week out. Um, there's a lot of good competition there, and there's a lot of guys that that are still playing um, professionally and in the majors yeah. at the top level. So um, the competition there, you know, every weekend was, you know, it helped mold me and helped get me prepared for for minor league ball. Yeah. So you were drafted by the New York Yankees in the 2008 draft in the 10th round. Uh, really. I uh, had a great minor league career with the Yankees, you know, minor league pitcher of the year in 2011 and became one of their, you know, top pitching prospects. So what was that like for you to see your stuff translate well into pro ball and have the success you did? Oh, it was awesome. Um, I just wanted to come in and, you know, hopefully translate from what I did in college into the pro game. And, you know, I, I can speak highly of, you know, all their coaching staff, the pitching coaches, all the coordinators there helped me and helped mold me become, you know, the pitcher that I was at the time. And, and I give all the credit to them as they they really knew what they were doing there and, and they helped me become, you know, what I am today. Definitely. Now you were called up by the New York Yankees in 2012. What do you remember about how you got called up to the major leagues and finding your way to Yankee Stadium? Yeah, it was uh, it was a pretty cool experience. Um, we were actually in, in Lehigh Valley, which was uh, the AAA affiliate for, for the Phillies at that time. And I remember my manager called me in and told me that I was going. And um, it was actually right before game time. Um, it was around 7 p.m. and uh, yeah, I got I got a car service um, to New York, and it wasn't too far um, from Philadelphia, so that kind of helped. And um, you know, I remember I was staying I was staying in the uh, Marriott Marquis, which was right in the middle of Times Square, <laughs> and uh, all the bright lights. It was it was a blast. It's something that I definitely will never forget. It was awesome. Yeah, definitely. Now you, while you're with the Yankees, you actually got to join them on their road trip to Fenway Park in Boston. Uh, you know the Yankee Red Sox rivalry that's really historic in sports so what was that like for you to you know put on the historic Yankee gray uniform and be a part of that rivalry and pitch in that series as well yeah that was that was awesome as well as I got I was, I was fortunate that I got to pitch in you know Yankee Stadium and Fenway Park and uh, yeah it was a blast it was it was everything that that you dream of um, when you're a kid growing up and especially if you're able to play for the Yankees you you also want to play against the Red Sox to be part of that rival and uh, it was cool. It was very fun. It, that's also something else that I'll, I'll never forget and I'll cherish for forever. Yeah. Now with the Yankees, some of your teammates over there, you know, guys like Derek Jeter, A-Rod, Robinson Cano, Mariano Rivera, you know, guys that will maybe make the Hall of Fame one day. So how often did you actually interact with those guys? And is that special to know, you know, you can call those guys your teammates? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's something I can always hang my, my hat on that I played with, you know, a bunch of Hall of Famers, a yeah. um, bunch of the Yankee greats. Um, yeah, I was able to interact with them some. Um, mostly Mariano Rivera because he was he was a pitcher, um, and we were in the bullpen together. So it was always cool to to, to pick his brain a little and uh, hear his insight on things he does. And uh, yeah, it was it was awesome. Yeah. You traded to the Seattle Mariners in 2012. Fortunately, you never made it back to the big leagues with them. But first off, what were your thoughts on that trade? You know, being traded for a Hall of Fame guy in Ichiro, and then. Second of all, you know, how close did you feel that you were getting good, you were going to get back to the major leagues with Seattle? Yeah, um, I, I know I had the the opportunity to. Um, if I went there and pitched well, and I thought I pitched pretty well, um, they had a lot of talent there, um, and I was fortunate. I knew some guys there that were already there as well. Um, you know, my time with the Mariners was it, it was short. It was a brief stint, um, but overall, I had I had a blast there as well, and they gave me opportunity to to keep playing this game, you know, and get to the highest level possibly. Um, so I'll always remember that. And that was, it was a good organization as well. You played for the Mets organization briefly before coming to the Atlantic League in 2014, where you, you're still in this league, you know, three seasons later. What is it about this league that you want to continue to come back and play in? And do you look at yourself as kind of like a guy that other players can come to for help or like experience on this league because you've been here for so long? Yeah, I mean, for sure, um, you know, Bridgeport gave me my first opportunity to when um, no one else would. So, so I always remember them for that. And um, of course, like we're, we're still getting able to do what what we want to do, and that's that's play baseball. And um, yeah, I've been here for this is my third year now, and I kind of feel like I'm a veteran. Like mm -hmm. I know I know the ins and outs. Um, I know all the cities, all the teams. So I, I've been around a while, and and sure, like if we all 
at any time, I mean, there's there's not anyone that you can't go up to and approach for for any type of advice. But uh, yeah, since I've been around a while, I think guys tend to to look up and, and say, you know, what we got here, what are we doing here. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's cool. It's pretty cool to be able to do that. Yeah, like you mentioned, Bridgeport was your first team in the Atlantic League. Spent parts of three seasons with them before being traded earlier this week. Uh, what are some of the memories you have here in Bridgeport that you can cherish and you know keep with you? Oh man, um, just being around the guys is. Is, is the main thing you establish relationships with guys when when you're around someone for so long for for, for day after day um, and pretty much year after year um, you know that's one of those things that 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 makes you want to keep playing um, when you're around the guys and being in the clubhouse and all the joking around and things like that that's what that's part of baseball too um, of course obviously being out there and competing and playing is is the main thing but the relationships you establish along the way is is one of the things that you'll, you'll never forget and you'll cherish for the rest of your life because you won't be able to do it you know your whole life so you cherish it while while you can final question for you you're back here at this ballpark as a visitor for the first time with the long island ducks is it going to be a little strange for you to be on you know the opposing side and you know be against you know some of your former teammates yeah yes yeah, it's, it's, it's different um it's different um like when we went out for bp today it's you see all the guys and yeah. you know it, it shows how much like you miss each other when you, they come up and speak to you, and it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, like I was saying, like the, the memories and, and the friendships, you'll you'll always cherish that no matter what. But I think as far as they know, I know, like once the game starts, once you cross those lines, it's it's, it's business time. You go out there and compete. But so yeah, it'll, it'll be a little strange um, playing against your, some of your best friends, and uh, but I know we, we all we all want to win, so um, we're just gonna go out there and compete. It's nothing different there.